Bright, how's the month looking? You bet. And it's something that I put together myself, just to kind of give you an idea of the way that I see things go in this upcoming month. I do have above normal or warmer than normal temperatures in a lot of the northern tier of the United States. Uh, in New England, I've got that for northern New England, the Boston, Providence, Hartford area. I've got closer to normal. The normal high would be about 39, the normal low about 25. And in terms of precipitation, it does look like it's going to be drier than normal in the Northeast. And that may a lot of times they say, well, you can't necessarily put that in towards snow because all it takes is one storm to give you a decent amount of snow. And that is true. But in this case, unless we got something toward the end of the month, this may equate to a uh, continued snow drought in February across the Northeast. Certainly, it looks like it will be below normal on precipitation. In terms of what's going on right now in temperature, it's not bad. Temperature is either side of freezing for most of us, though Nashville is down to 21 and Concord's down to 19. There's definitely different air in northern New England than there is in southern New England here today. But having said that, we all get a pretty similar sky forecast, which is a lot of clouds. I say that because the next disturbance is coming out of the Great Lakes here, and there's more uh, energy that's going to drop out of Canada for that matter as well. But you don't see anything organized in terms of precipitation. And that's why when you look at the forecast from our exclusive forecast system, I take you out through noon. Actually, what stands out to me, aside from the clouds in white and gray, is the temperature. Makes it up over 40 degrees by lunch. High temperatures today running about 40 to 45. That's going to feel pretty good uh, after the last few days. Notice at 415, a couple of mixed rain and snow showers. Probably trending to mostly snow showers when you get up around the mountains. Lakes region may get that as we get to the early evening. And that may be a very quick rain shower that comes through southern New Hampshire, even down to the Boston area. It's not impossible to get an evening quick shower to come through. It would be raindrops, though. Tomorrow morning, there may be some showers at Nantucket. Most of us find some clouds in the morning, and everything kind of just departs after that, but it does stay mostly cloudy. Now, in the afternoon, brand new scattered rain and snow showers pop up. Not a big deal, but there actually could be a little coating of snow under a few of these tomorrow evening as the sun goes down. That opens the door Saturday to at least some breaks of sun. We make progress. I still think there'll be bubbling clouds over the course of the day. There may even be a snow shower. Sunday looks very good, very bright. We get in a pattern where we're stuck between storm systems, which is a good place to be. So we're actually setting up into a pretty quiet weather pattern in the early part of next week as well. So I mentioned highs today running above 40 degrees. Uh, overnight tonight, we'll back down to about freezing again. And tomorrow, there's still a ton of clouds, all right? There's going to be that early shower at Nantucket. The rest of us, a shower in the afternoon, the evening of rain or snow. Maybe that coating in the evening. And by the time we get to Saturday, mid-30s, breaks of sun. Sunday, pretty sunny and near 40 degrees. Here's the extended forecast. Again, next week starts out fairly quiet. Could be some snow or snow and rain showers later Tuesday, Tuesday night, early Wednesday. Not a big deal out of that. And then in the 40s by the end of the 10 days.